if we go to the table design tab, I see that this table was created automatically with table two as a name. So now this is our product, product table. So type the name you want there, enter, click enter. And now every time I want to refer to this range, I can just type products. And another thing is that here in this field that I have uh, to the left of my bar, I can see the names that I have created in my workbook. And if I, I have already two names, invoices and products, and it's an easy way of navigating from one table to the other is just choose the table name there in that field. So we now have two tables in this workbook. One is the products table. The other one is the sales data. Uh, another way of seeing those tables and table names created is to come here to formulas tab and then name manager. If we come here, we can see that these names are also created here. And we are not given the option of uh, editing the range, but if I wanted to change the table name, I can double click and change the table name from here if I want to. It's another option, okay? 